one thing I, I'm telling you all. The mind, the IQ level of the people acquiring is going low. Very, very low as days go by. That something that clear today, people who are that dumb, what, what, what did he do? All these, the other day one, one young little kid came and the whole of the city, the girls of the whole, or not the whole stuff for life, like in a lot of them, they went, sisters, I went back to see what does he do? What does this little boy do? Ha, huh. I looked into the internet, I looked at what he does. All he does is pranks. What? Billahi alaykum, I ask you by the, with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How could this individual become somebody he's given? How? When? But again, I remind you myself, even when Dajjal comes and he's got one eye missing and he says, I'm ilah, the people still follow him. And not one person amongst the people will recognize, say, well, if you're ilah, where's your other eye? That's how the IQ of the people have gone low, 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 low as days goes by. People who are not nothing, have no importance, becomes what? Becomes the people you want to follow. You want to dress like them. You want to die into cars were about to run over some of the sisters. Car, wallahi. They were about to get run over. And I went back. Maybe this guy is alim. <laughs> Maybe they love the religion that he possesses. Maybe he's a talib ilm. I went back and see what he's about. Who is he? Ajaib. Nothing, no hikmah all day. Huh? Uh, this is how I put my imam on. This is how I dress in the morning. This is all it was. And people, 20,000, 2 million people are watching this. And then there are ulama on YouTube. <laughs> their, link, their, their, view, their views are what? 100, 20, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 maximum. Huh? These people will put it today, tomorrow it will be 7 million. 8 million that will watch it. And then I'm going to ask all brothers a question. Is Allah going to uplift from us what's happening in Palestine? Is Allah going to uplift from us the pain that the Muslims are suffering from what's happening in Syria? All of that is Allah going to uplift. When the reality of the Ummah is like this. Inna Allah la yughayru ma bi qawmin hatta yugayru ma bi anfusihim. Wallahi Allah won't. And the situation of the Ummah will get worse, worse, worse until the Ummah stop what they are doing. And they go back to exactly what the righteous, pious predecessors were upon. In terms of their knowledge, you, you follow their knowledge. In terms of their actions, you follow their actions. And in terms of their belief, you become their belief. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about the seer and the stories of those prophets, why was he telling us about it? This story isn't just something you laid back and say, wow, this is, is this what happened to Yusuf alayhi salam? Oh, they threw him in a well. This is not what the reality of the story is for brothers. It is that you follow his patience, his sabr, his call to his tawheed. Even in prison, he was still calling to tawheed. These are our examples. Wallahi al -Azim. I always hear on the Muslim mouth, oh, we don't have role models. Kazab wa kazib. He's a liar who ever says we don't have role models. We've got the best of role models. We have the people who live this life in this world just for the hereafter. With these people, they want from you something. They don't do anything for you in that they love you for. They don't. Our role models, they came and they set us examples. They came to be people, to, Ikhwani, the Sahabas. I mentioned in the biography of the Sahabas when I was talking about it. The Sahabas, Ridwanullahim alayhi jma'in, they were never known. Abu Bakr, who knew him before Islam? What was he before Islam? What was he before Isa Umar? What was Uthman? What was Ali? They were nothing. They were nothing to be mentioned. But when Islam came and they took it wholeheartedly, and they, in their households, outside, on the streets, and everything, when they implemented it, what did Allah do for them? The whole world, it came under their fists. In five seconds, I can tell you the solution of the Muslims all around the world. Which is what? Allah will not lift from you this, this pain and uh, problems until you go back to your religion. It's all it is, Wallah. Go back to the sources in which we dayyauha, that you have forsaken. I and you, we all done it. We've forsaken part of the religion. When we go back, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, okay, now you're entitled for it. When now Israel, Israel was bombing Gaza and what was happening, the Muslims were getting 
where Muslims were watching World Cup. In Palestine, in Palestine, forget the ones outside. In Palestine, in Gaza, some were actually watching in, uh, in the World Cup. And we, we say, Allah, why is that what's happening? And we're sad about these people's situation. This is the wallahi, it's a waqi, reality which is the ummah need to go back. And they have to wake up and have to understand why else our sisters are acting like that. Our brothers are acting like that. The mashayikh and the people are calling the people to the deen are lying and deceiving the people to take money and make benefit from the people. If the ummah, all of them, they all come back to that source as it is, Allah Allah will uplift from the ummah the suffering and the pain that they're in. But what we want to do is not talk about it, not bring it up, or even give ourselves temporary solutions. That's all we want to do. Make dua for them after the salah, brothers. But Allah is good. Like there are big matters that we're not doing for the ummah. Wallahi, we're not doing for the ummah. Mm -hmm. And it's wallahi sad. Mm. So these people the Sheikh is mentioning are the ones that we should befriend. And we make us our friends and our examples. If you follow the righteous people, Ikhwani, you will never lose out. When you take examples other, other than the righteous people, is when you lose out. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything that I have said that was incorrect for him subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive me for it. And anything that I said that was correct that he adds it to my scale the day of judgment and reward all of you inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah uplift from the ummah in wherever they are in the world the suffering and the pain that they are enduring. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also make us understand the solution and the sources that we have forsaken for us to te teach us how to go back to it and how to hold on to it. Please don't make this just a random reminder or a benefit you just heard. MashaAllah, Wallahi, the kitab was good. Like, ikhwani, let's all go ilman wa amalan. Let's go back to our households and let's change something about it. I want to ask you all a question. If every one of us over here right now went home and started to work on his household, of course, in the best of ways, he raises his children upon the religion. He talks to his the parents, they deal with their children by making them come back to the deen of Allah. Everything, the facade, the television and all the munkarat that are in the house, we take it out and get rid of it. Listen brothers and sisters, what will happen if everyone done that? The next Muslim ruler will come out from which household? From one of those righteous houses, Sahih. The next Qa'id, the Muslim general will come out from a household like this. But whilst everyone's household has facade in it, the next one's gonna probably come out from your house. And the facade's gonna go on, and it's gonna go on, and it will never change. Well, one of the big quotes that you all have to remember is, Brothers, make your household a place, make it a place where Allah is remembered. Implement this religion. Remember the shara that you come with, and the evil that you come with, and the sins that you come with and other people around the world will be suffering for it. Zainab, she said, Ya Rasulullah, are you hulikuna? Are we going to be destroyed and amongst us are righteous people? The Prophet said, Naam, ida kathur al khabuth. If the evil becomes more, of course you're going to all be punished for it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not just stop the evil to the bad people. Everyone will encompass it. What taqu fitna ta la tusibanna alladheena zalamu minkum khasa. The fit that when it comes, it won't specifically happen on the wrongdoers. It will encompass everyone. It will go to Palestine. It will go to Muslim countries and it will destroy them because of your sins that you are doing. But go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask Him for forgiveness for what you've said or done. Come back to the religion as it is. Wallahi, the solution is that for the ummah. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, إِذَا تَبَيَعْتُمْ بِالْعِيْنَ وَأَخَذْتُمْ أَذْنَابَ الْبَقَرَ وَتَرَكْتُمُ الْجِهَادِ صَلَّةَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ ذُلَّا لَا يَرْفَعُ عَنْكُمْ حَتَّى تَرْجِعُ إِلَى دِينِكُمْ The last part, صَلَّةَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ ذُلَّا Allah will place over you humiliation, ذُل حَتَّى تَرْجِعُ إِلَى دِينِكُمْ Until you come back to your religions. The beginning of the hadith is what? إِذَا تَبَيَعْتُمْ بِالْعِيْنَ and you start to grab the tail of the, uh, the cow. وَتَرَكْتُمُ الْجِهَادَ And you leave of the jihad. The first jihad is jihad of nafs. That you fight with yourselves and in your household. إِقَامَةُ الشَّرِعَ فِي بُيُوتِكُمْ Establishing the Islamic, Islamic household. 
and without a doubt the jihad was, uh, and jihad was silah the jihad with the weapons with his conditions of course what, did, what would Allah do sallatallahu alaykum dhullad Allah will place over you whatever that's found in us look at us mortgages right here why are we going to lie to us? Some, a lot of us over here sitting here, I have houses with mortgage. Ah, your car is on riba. The messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the thing about Muslims. When the muhadhar is done, nobody places this matter on himself. It's like, yeah, he's talking about somebody else, not me. When a lot of us here have houses with riba, our cars are riba. The messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the smallest level of riba. min It is that a man came in zina with his mother. The least of riba. We have millions of houses, millions of pounds that we've taken from banks and we've, we've took our houses with mortgage. Who made it halal for you? Who told you to take it? This is exactly how. If you go to the Muslim countries today, this is what becomes spread. Then when Allah's adab comes, why do we ask ourselves? Ikhwadi, we're not more merciful to Allah, the creation than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves these creation more than us. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then you see their suffering. Well, look back. Why, why are these people suffering? Go back, read the biography before that. The sins have become outside. The people are doing it outside. Kifah, kafahan. No one's hiding the sin. It's out in the open. I'm doing it. And, ah. When that happens and it takes place, Allah's adab, ya ummul jami' it will destroy us all. All of us will die in it. All of us will be destroyed in it. Our a'rad, our dignities, our children, our wives, our everything. Everything will be destroyed in it. And we can't stop it once it comes. The only way we can uplift it is that we come back to Allah. It's an easy, easy, easy equation. Don't do this, I won't destroy you. You do it, I will bring you adab. You will, it will not be lifted from you until you come back to your religion. The Muslims can't understand and cannot comprehend what come back to your religion. Our problem is not that our rulers are the problems. That's a very, 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 very small point. Our problem isn't that the women want leadership in the country. Our issue, our issue is that we've left the religion. Once all of us come back to the religion, Wallah Allah will bring a solution for the Ummah. That point is what the people don't come want, want to comprehend. We want, every Muslim wants to blame somebody. We want to go and blame the disbelievers. We want to blame the kuffar. It's their fault. Careful. Even the brother will come late to the masjid and he'll say, oh, it's kuffar. They stopped me, man. It's the kuffar. We want to blame. We don't want to take blames. When we left our religion, we forsake Allah's commands, we fall into the sins, and that's why we're in this problem. Once we come back to our religion, all we need to be at all of our enemies is, is that we've hold on to our religion. We've beat them. By us holding to our, onto our religion. Because when we all hold on to our religion, we will gain unity. Unity does not occur. We cannot be unified upon each one's whims and desires. No, I have a different whims and desires than you. How, how are we going to be both unified? But the only thing that can unify both of us is something that has a higher position than you and my eye, which is the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka tu